Bruce, tell us about your golden rule of retirement saving. I've got a golden rule and a rule of thumb. So the golden rule, saving 10%, which is also as mom and apple pie as you get. But if you save 10% of your income over the course of years, you're just way more likely to have a nest egg that it's going to support you in retirement. The rule of thumb is is one of the best ones out there is called the rule of 20. comes from Russell Investments. It is a wide rule of thumb, like a Shrek size rule of thumb. (laughs) But it basically says if you want $70,000 in retirement, income, multiply it by 20, and you'll need a nest egg of 1.2 million bucks. That's a shocking number. People get freaked out about that. But it's really helpful to have a number. I don't even care if it's an accurate number, which may sound like a very low standard. But when I talk to people, no one even has any clue of what the number is. I'd rather they have a starting point that then they can look at year over year and tweak the assumptions and get a better number over time. Okay, I want to go back to your 10% rule. First of all, that's 10% of take-home pay, right? Uh, It's 10% of gross. Oh, 10% of gross. 10% of gross. See, a lot of people say 10% of take-home, which is, but 10% of gross, that's a high hurdle. It is a high hurdle. If you make 60 grand a year, saving $6,000 is 500 bucks a month. That's not easy to do when you've got a car payment and kids and rep hockey and a mortgage and all that kind of stuff. So if you can't do that, it's not like you should roll over, you know, give Give up up. and turn to drink. But uh, say maybe I could do 5%. Maybe I could do 8%. And avoid lifestyle inflation. So if you get a raise at work, uh, endeavor to not have that be a sweeter lifestyle, but more paying towards your future self, your 80-year-old self, who's going to need that money. Okay. Thanks very much, Bruce. My pleasure.